I'd like to demonstrate how you can incorporate grommets into drawstring totes. I have our Minkus Margot on the go totes right here and I, they have a drawstring closure at the top and we incorporated some grommets in. So I have one constructed right here and first I need to draw the holes for where the grommets are going to be. And I made this template so that the markings are even. I'm going to align the center line here with my seam line. And then using a washable marker, I'm just going to And that is where I will set my grommets. Now that I've made my marks for where I'm going to set my grommets, I am ready to start setting. Now I have my eight millimeter grommet die as I chose that size for the bags and I'm going to be using the silver grommets. And first what I'll be doing is putting the grommet into the bottom of the, the die. And then I want to take the casing on my tote and just flip that completely up and as you can see the marker went all the way through to the other side so you will be able to see um, where you're setting it in the machine so I'm just going to, I already have my grommet into the top of the die or the bottom of the die, excuse me and I'm just going to find my marking And then I take my washer and they will, these grommets, they will self pierce through the canvas I am using. And I'm just going to press down on the handle. And as you can see, the center comes out very nicely. And I have set my first grommet um, and starting to set my other one. Taking my grommet, putting into the bottom of the die. And again, I just want to find my marking on the other side as the marker went all the way through. And then once I get that aligned, press down. on the handle and I didn't even have to you know make the holes for the grommets first like I said the these grommets set very nicely through the canvas I'm using and see how nice that now that my four grommets are placed I just want to uh, put my drawstring through and I have two pieces of cording which I made double the width of the bag and I will just singe my ends first and then taking one piece of the cording through the grommet and you want to fold your casing back down through one side of the grommet pull through and then you want to make sure the cording is all along the crease at the top take a pin and then just follow along the top of the bag till you get to the other side And then put another pin in to hold the cording in place.
And then you would take the end through the other side of the grommet and then tie that off. Now, same, same thing for the other side. Take my cording through this grommet, following the entire top, take my pin out, make sure both pieces of cording are up at the top, and then putting my pin through. Again, following along the top, crease to my other side, taking this pin, and both pieces are in, top, in the top, and then my other piece of cording I would just take out, put out through that grommet, and then tie that off. As you can see, you have two, two ties at the now side. Now that my drawstring is in place, I went ahead and I stitched under the grommets and under the drawstring all around. And I'm just going to flip the bag over. And I tied both ends up. And there you have your drawstring bag with the grommets. It's very cute. You can find, this is a great technique for handbag designers and you will be able to find um, the machine and all the various dies. This machine sets studs, rivets, snaps, jean buttons, grommets, eyelets. We have many sizes available, many shapes for the studs and rivets. The machines are available. This can all be found at Minkus Margot on eBay and Etsy. Thank you for watching.